Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from SimpleProgrammer.com. So, I got this question slash email from a dude that he didn't want me to say his first name, so we're just going to call him Joe. Anyway, Joe basically, he must have been watching some of my videos because he put in like colors into the email. I must have said that at some point. I don't know. I must have been joking around and he called me Sir, which, uh, which he said that I mentioned I liked, which I did mention. I do remember that. So anyway, uh, I thought I'd, I'd answer his, his question because it's a good one. So basic situation for Joe, he got this cool job uh, working with really good people, good technology, good company, likes the job, but all the cool people left, as he said. And so he got stuck with all the whiny kind of people that are, were working there. And then he wants to know, you know, so, so then he's applying for new jobs and he wants to know when he gets a question, right? Because when you apply for a new job, they say, why do you want to leave your current job? This is a good question. A lot of people get this and they answer this wrong. And I'll give you kind of what, what Joe had asked about this. He said basically, I find it difficult to be dishonest and come up with a basic excuse like uh, looking for challenges, looking for more or less responsibility. I don't say less responsibility <laughs> that moment. Uh, the truth is the job itself is challenging. I enjoy coding other projects. There's still a lot to learn there. I just can't stand working with the whiny people that I am left with. And now it's even a challenge to wake up in the morning. He says, I don't want to be completely honest as this would come off as me complaining about my current status. Also, some of the engineers are well connected in the city. Uh, I thought about saying I want a higher salary, but I'm afraid then they'd ask if I talked about it with my boss and I need to answer that I would not even consider their offer. So, uh, and he's got a second question here, but let's get into the first one here. They're both actually good questions. Could be two videos, but anyway, so, so, okay, here's the thing, Joe, you, you okay, it's, it's sometimes in life, you've got to, you've got to uh, believe your own bullshit. <laughs> and what I mean by this is you have to convict yourself of your own bullshit. So, because sometimes it's actually true, right? Because in this, in this particular situation, you don't want to be totally honest here. And, and, and when I say I don't, what I don't, I'm saying, when I say that you don't want to be totally honest, what I'm saying is that you don't want to reveal too much information. You don't want to be negative, right? Uh, Benjamin Disraeli said, don't complain or explain. Don't do that. Don't complain or explain, right? It's really good rules to live by because either one of those things are going to paint you in a negative light. So what I mean by like believing your own BS is, there's probably some actual reasons that you're calling BS right now why you would leave this job. Just think about those some more and make those more of a priority and talk about those things. It doesn't have to be a be BS, you know, in, the, in, that, in that sense. Don't, don't be like, oh, I want more responsibility, I want more challenges, blah, 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 blah. Think about this. Let, let, let's logically think about this for a second, right? If the problem is that the people that you're working with are really whiny, right? But the job is fine, it's challenging, all this, it's affecting the job. And it's really what it's doing, the reason why you don't want to wake up in the morning might be, and you're going to have to fill in the blanks here with your own personal experience, but maybe it's because you are lacking the opportunity for the personal growth that you need and, and, and the right kind of environment to achieve that personal growth. That's, again, you could say that's BS, but this is some BS that you can believe because you can actually right, psychoanalyze yourself and figure out why this is. Instead of saying, so, so basically it would be this, right? Instead of blaming the people, instead of saying, oh, well, you know, my, my totally honest approach, which is to say, hey, uh, the reason why I'm looking for a new job is because uh, I've got a bunch of whiny assholes that I'm working with and I don't want to work with them anymore. No, don't say that. But instead, let's focus it internal. So what is the problem with that? What is you feel like this environment is not an environment where you can grow, perhaps, right? Or maybe the job is really challenging, it's a great job, but it's just not right for you. That's, that's a true statement, right? It, it doesn't negatively impact anyone else. In fact, if you can compliment the job, if you can compliment the people, right, and, and, and you can say that you just feel like you need something different, that you need the next step for your own personal growth, nothing against the company, nothing against the people. If you can couch it that way, right, that's, that's more important. So again, I mean, you're gonna have to, you're not gonna be able to be like, do not be completely honest, right? Do not, and, and when I say that, I mean, do not volunteer information. 
that doesn't need to be said or to phrase it in such a way. I mean, you can be totally honest, right? But you can couch it so that it's your fault instead of your coworkers and your company's fault. Because to some degree it is, right? I mean, maybe it's you, maybe you do, maybe these whiny people, maybe you're not ready to deal with that in, in your personal growth, right? Maybe at a different point you would be able to. It doesn't matter. The, the point is, don't, you know, and then this goes for everyone out there that's, that's, that's wondering when you answer this question, do not, do not, uh, do not explain or complain, right? Do not complain or explain. Remember that quote. You, you don't need to. Instead, you just need to talk about wh where you're going, right? And you can divert that question. You don't even really have to answer that question. You can go down the road and say, look, here's the thing, you know, why are you leaving your current job? Or, or you know, well, I, you know, I'm at a point in my career where I want to grow in this direction. And I noticed that this job that you have here is doing this thing. I really like to do that. I feel like this would be a good growth opportunity for me. And I feel like I could contribute here. I feel like what I could do is I could do blah, 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 blah for you. And that would be awesome. And I would benefit by doing that for you. And let me show you how I can do this for you. Bam, you're turning it around. You're saying, you're instead of, instead of answering this question that's, you know, why are you leaving your current job? That's, that's probably going to have a negative answer. You're turning around and saying, look, here's what I can do for you. Here's the value I can bring to you, right? You, you have the ability to do this. And if they bring it back around, no, seriously, dude, why are you leaving your current job? Then you can start to get into, to, to some of the things, but always make it be about you, about the personal growth, make the company seem good, make the employees seem good. Never, never the negative and don't explain yourself. Talk about future opportunities. Talk about where you're going. Talk about you know, all kinds of things like that. But, but again, going back to that whole idea where I started this, which about believing your own BS is, and again, I, you know, I don't mean to, I don't want you to take that wrong. What I mean is like, seriously think about it and come up with a really good explanation that is not BS, right? That's what I mean by this, is that there is another explanation. There's another way to look at the same situation, right? You could say, you could take a scenario and you could say, look, I have whiny coworkers and they piss me off so much, I don't even wanna wake up in the morning, I just wanna slap them silly. That's one way of looking at that situation. But you could take the exact same situation, right? and be just as honest and look at it from a different angle and see it as something totally different. You can see it in a different light. You can talk about it. You can set the frame differently so that you're talking about the same exact problem, same exact scenario, but you're painting it in a positive picture. This is a really good company. It had a really good set of core employees. I feel like I am not able to contribute as much as I used to be able to because the environment has changed somewhat and I would grow better in a different type of environment. That's another way, right? You could say that's BS, but if you really think about this, this has to be personalized to you. So it doesn't come off as BS, but you're, you're saying the same thing. You're, you're viewing this, this thing from a different angle, a positive angle that's gonna be positive on everyone. I'm gonna get into the second question here, because this one was good as well. Uh, what should I answer when the co-founder, non-technical, Love him, but not his team. Ask me about the whys. So, so he's talking about basically, like when when he leaves this this existing company that he's at. And he says, my ex coworker suggested being honest and private and avoiding excuses. Like it's not you, it's me. As the co-founder likely knows about the issues we have with the company, they also suggested sticking with the generally accepted reasons why uh, when discussing the topic in public. I'm okay with being positive in public and share as few as possible. I'm not sure about the being honest with the co-founder part. What do you think? So do not, do not be honest with the co-founder about this. Uh, at least again, you could apply the same thing and, and change the frame and talk about it. But in this case, I would offer as little explanation as possible. There is no benefit that can come to you from, from complaining, telling this co-founder that he's got a problem with this company, telling him why you're leaving. This is where you definitely shut your mouth and do not do the complain or explain at all. Just minimal answers as possible as much. Everything that you say, just say all the positive things. Say, I love working for this company. It's, it's been a great company, great people. Whatever you can positive, great challenges, you know, whatever you can, you can positively say, and leave it on a positive note and do not get into the details. Do not go there. Just don't do it. It's going to be bad. There's no, 
Whenever you're in a situation where nothing good can come, but a lot of bad could come, just shut your mouth. <laughs> That's the best advice I can give you in those kind of situations. Just think about it, always recognize, am I in a situation where, where only bad can come? Then shut my mouth, don't say it. I know you're gonna be tempted to offer an explanation, I know you're gonna feel bad, you're gonna feel like you owe this person something. No, 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 don't do it. Just minimal whatever you can, compliment them, make them feel good when you're leaving and do not get into the details. That's the best advice I can give you on this. A lot of people ignore this advice because they feel guilty, they feel bad, they feel like they owe people explanations. You do not owe people explanations. I did a video on never explaining yourself. You do not owe people explanations. Don't explain, don't apologize, don't complain. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you next time, take care.